as a leader, being able to coach your people and your teams is really critical. And I think it's a skill that not everybody finds um, comes naturally. Um, and so I think it's useful to have a few tools to sort of guide you as you move into this kind of coaching journey. So this, this tool, the Coacher Matrix, is one of those tools that can help you. And it kind of really starts to work on the fact that I think most people, as they start to coach, they kind of have one style, one approach. Uh, and the truth is, is that actually different people need different coaching approaches. So if we look at this, this, this Coaching Matrix here, what this talks about are based around employee skill and enthusiasm. You have those people at the bottom quadrant that kind of actually need supervising you know, they're not not particularly skillful uh, they haven't got particularly high enthusiasm levels you know so they're going to need a fair amount of supervision so your coaching approach to them needs to needs to um, reflect that but also you have you know above them you have those people that have got very high enthusiasm you know but they're still a bit low on skill so obviously they're the people we want to nurture um, but again we need to be careful that we don't let them run off um, because the, the, the danger is with their enthusiasm they do lots of things and they make lots of mistakes Obviously, you know, in the top quadrant, you know, there's those people that we love, you know, they've got high enthusiasm, you know, and they've got great, great levels of skill. So, you know, we can trust them. So you need to be really careful. You know, I see people with, you know, really qualified, really motivated team members, you know, that they're micromanaging. And you can imagine if you're one of those people that's really good at what you do and doesn't need motivating, when you're being micromanaged, you know, that just turns you off. Um, you know, and underneath them, we've got those people that, you know, they've got the high skill, but their enthusiasm is dipping, you know. So clearly what we need, we need to them, we need to motivate them. We need to find ways to enthuse them, to want to, you know, to get on and achieve the things that they are, they are capable of achieving because they're high levels of skill. So just, you know, four different types of people that possibly have been your team. And the key here is, is really to think about the people you're coaching and plot them. Um, in the in the various boxes. It wouldn't be uncommon when you start to do that to look at people and say it kind of depends on what they're doing. So there are many people you can say actually you know in that part of their role I absolutely trust them but in this part of their role they need a bit of supervision. Um, don't write off the people in the supervised box. You know, we all we need those people that just turn up and do a do a day's work as long as they do what you need them to do, um, you know, and don't cause any trouble. You know, they're they're not bad people. You know, actually those people that are in that red box are actually the dangerous ones. As I think I said before, you know, people that were high enthusiasm are great to have around, but because their skill level isn't where it needs to be, you know, you need to give them that instruction because if you don't, you know, if they make mistakes, they can be really, really costly. So, you know, plot your people around the matrix, you know, think about people that may have, you know, in different parts of their role sit in different boxes. And I think probably the final point here is what about you? You know, where do you sit? You know, what do you need from your your leaders or you know your line manager if you have a line manager you know or maybe from your external coach if you use a coach you know we we you know all of us sit somewhere in this matrix and again we may sit in different places at different times so the coaching matrix good luck with that uh, and good luck with your journey of coaching your people